Subscribe to Omia Fertility and press the bell icon to never miss an update. So, you know, when it comes to causes of infertility, endometriosis also, you know, keeps coming up quite often. What is this disease and what are its causes? I mean, PCOS, endometriosis, dono, kai logo ko, you know, it sounds exactly the same. So if you could just tell us what is endometriosis and uh, what are the causes? No, it is uh, quite separate from PCOS. Yes. Endometriosis is what? Your, uh, what happens in a uterus, there is a lining known as endometrium, which is center lining, which every month it is shed. During your period, this shedding of the endometrium occurs. And a new endometrium is formed every month. Sometimes mm-hmm. this endometrium grows outside your uterus in different parts of your pelvic region, like your ovary, tubes. Mm-hmm. When the endometrium is growing outside your uterus, then it becomes like a uh, case of an endometriosis. Ooh. So every month when... Uh, periods come, the shedding of the endometrium from uterus occurs. But if it has grown outside the uterus, like in your ovaries, it will bleed there only and not come out oh. through your vagina. So it get, the blood gets collected right. and it forms a cyst which is known as chocolate cyst or endometriotic cyst. So right. there are two separate diseases. This is one is a PCOS and one is an endometriosis. So both may cause infertility but the symptoms and the treatment of both are quite different. So basically uh PCOS is the disease of the ovaries and endometriosis is the disease of the uterine lining, right? Uh, first of all, everyone should understand that the uh, human body, a female human body has a one uterus, two ovaries and two fallopian tubes. Hmm. Right. So uterus ke ek lining hote, this form bolte endometrium, which is grown outside the uterus is known as endometriosis and which also causes infertility and a PCOS is a disease of ovaries in which the cyst is formation and your hormones become irregular. Right. So, how is endometriosis caused? See, uh, there are um, few reasons of it. Most important is a genetic reason. It is sometimes a genetic reason. Sometimes okay. there can be a retrograde menstruation. Uh, the periods, uh, the blood flow through the periods comes out through your vagina and sometimes it flows back also. So these this two main reasons for it and the main reason is genetic cause only and sometimes there can be mutations in your cells or metaplasia of your cells. Uh, the normal cells become endometric cells so it can cause endometriosis. Okay. Aja, some people also get diagnosed with adenomyosis which seems to be another disorder of the endometrial tissue. How are these two disorders different especially when it comes to fertility? Uh, we should understand endometriosis is also a disorder in which the endometrium is growing inside the uterus. Uterus yeah. is made of two parts like an endometrium and a myometrium. When oh. the endometrium is grown inside the myometrium, it becomes an adenomyosis. When the endometrium is grown outside the uterus, like in the ovary, the tubes or any pelvic region, then it becomes an endometriosis. And so when it comes to infertility, there is no difference. They enact the same way. It acts in the same way. Okay. Yes. Um, abnormal menstruation also seems to be a defining factor, you know, of these diseases. But if the female gets regular periods and still isn't able to conceive, you know, assuming, of course, that the male is fertile and the uh, couple doesn't have those, you know, compatibility issues, uh, would you still test the female for PCOS or endometriosis? Yeah, most when a uh, couple is planning for a pregnancy and uh, uh, according to you, I think the male is normal mm-hmm. and uh, female has a regular cycle and they have not conceived uh, for a one year after trying for a natural intercourse also, then they can visit an infertility specialist who will get some tests done for her I told you the most important test will be her black test, which includes her hormonal profile mm-hmm. and then an ultrasound for her uterus and the ovaries. What we see in an ultrasound is uh, the, your uterus, your size of the uterus, your any abnormality, any polyp, any growth, adenomyces in the uterus and the ovaries. In the ovaries, you see uh, a number of follicles and the size of your ovary, any cyst, any endometriotic cyst present in the ovary, these are done by the ultrasound. Another test which is done is an X-ray, which is known as HSG. HSG Mm -hmm. is a histocalpingography in which you come to know about the tubal factor. For any normal conception, your tubes should be normal to conceive because the uh, fertilization of your embryo occurs in the tube. So, mm-hmm. tube is a factor. So, it is only tested by an X-ray, which is known as HSG. 
which is usually done on day 6 or day 7 of your cycle mm-hmm. and uh, it is an egg in which a dye is injected into the cervix into the vagina and then the uterus if your tubes are open the dye will flush out and you will come to your tubes are open then you can try naturally for pregnancy if your tubes are blocked there are different methods of diagnosing it and then different treatment for available for it so uh, you know uh, there is there is also this thing that you know apart from of course uh, debilitating pain during periods uh, bleeding between periods digestive issues and you know painful in- intercourse some symptoms of endometriosis seem to overlap that of pcos now how are these diseases then treated are there are the treatments any different from each other are they the same how does one go about it see the treatment for both of these diseases are different in mm-hmm. endometriosis a patient uh, or a, a female will complain more of the pain during menstruation it's a more a painful a condition than pcos pcos oh. is not at all painful a condition it causes irregular cycle you will oh, yeah. not be for a month or two months you will have more obesity more acne these are symptoms of pcos endometriosis will have a painful menstruation it will sometimes very painful you will have a history of constipation or a diarrhea pain mm-hmm. during intercourse is more in case of an endometriotic cyst because mm-hmm. it become there are more formation of adhesions in your pelvic cavity and your uh, it, it sometimes uh, there are different grades of endometriosis like grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 sometimes your pelvis becomes such a frozen pelvis that your all the organs are stuck together so oh. the, so if that's why the endometriosis becomes a very a painful condition and the treatment for both the conditions are separate see for mm-hmm. pcos your hormone should be regularized so a doctor will prescribe you some tablet will uh, tell you to have a lifestyle better form avoid junk food decrease your weight exercise these are for pcos endometriosis is also a lifestyle uh, you have to improve your lifestyle and sometimes what happens your cyst is so big you have to get your cyst operated the uh, cyst has to be operated and then injections are to be given to decrease the endometriosis hmm i hear you 